when Dostoevsky tells us that he detests the fact that two and two make four, and that he reserves his sacred right to insist that two and two make five, you're saying what? That his life is based on... His vanity. <laughs> uh, Frustration? Look, look, look. Any Cretan can prove that two and two make four, right? So the man that goes against that notion must be riding on sheer... Will. Will. He claims an idea is true because he wants it to be true, because he says it is true. And the issue isn't whether he's right, but whether he has the will to believe he's right, no matter how many proofs there are that say he's wrong. And hey, how many fingers you see sticking up here? Well, right now I see four. But tomorrow I might be absolutely sure that it's five. And it's precisely that possibility that makes tomorrow intriguing. Reason only satisfies man's rational requirements. Desire, on the other hand, encompasses everything. Desire is life. Yeah, well, I don't know all about that, because I'm dealing in reality. I'm dealing in things that I can see. You know, Spencer, if you put half the concentration into reading Dostoevsky that you put into basketball, you'd understand what he was saying. Look, what's your, um, what's your shooting range? Oh, about 20 feet. 20 feet. And do you ever shoot from beyond that? Sometimes. Why? Because sometimes I just feel the ball is going to go in. That's why. Well, does it? No, not usually. Right. <laughs> but for that one second before you shoot, you're absolutely certain that it is going in. All athletes and poets know that. It's their secret connection. They know it's going in. They know that two and two are five. That's it.